nights. So I've received message that there's a rumor that the Batman v Superman trailer, Dawn of Justice, will hit on Thursday. Or at least a teaser. This is what it says some um, 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 bitches. It says, according to Latino Review, director Zack Snyder will release just five seconds. You really like teasing Motosoka, don't you? Five seconds from the, tra the teaser trailer this Thursday at 9 a.m. That's tomorrow, some bitches. Yeah, that's tomorrow. From there, according to this rumor, you'll be able to sign up to see the full trailer on Monday, April 20th. Ha, ha, ha. I will be signing up for that son of a bitch. In a theater of your, oh, in a theater of much, wait a minute. I'll be able to sign up to see the full trailer on Monday, April 20th, in the theater of my choosing. Really? Additionally, Latino Review says the trailer will, will be attached to the Avengers Age of Ultron when the film is released later this month. This would conflict with the previous reports that the trailer would premiere before Warner Brothers' Mad Max Fury Road when it hits in mid-May. So is this a good thing for fans? A five second tease? Then you have to wait all weekend to trek to a theater and pay to see the full thing. That's weird. We have to pay the, it depends on how much we got to pay to see it, okay? But I don't know, I got to give y'all a reaction. If I'm going to give y'all a reaction, you got, I got to react from home. I can't, you know, it would be a second reaction if I went to the theater first to see it. Ah, dilemmas, dilemmas. Remember what happened when Disney Lucasfilm tried to debut the Star Wars The Force Awakens teaser trailer in theaters only last November? It wound up online pretty much immediately as the studio's entire game plan collapsed around them like the hunger bay, like the hangar bay of the second Death Star. And speaking of Star Wars, for those of you in the cheap seats, who aren't paying attention, the five second tease will be hitting an hour before the Star Wars The Force Awakens panel at Star Wars Celebration on Thursday. Coincidence? Ha! Uh huh. It says update. Meanwhile, the credits for the film can now be found at the Batman v Superman official site. Notably, if not surprisingly, Ben Affleck gets top billing over Henry Cavill. That's like that Jack Nicholson and, um, Fuck, what is wrong with me? How could I get a brain fart like that? Michael Keaton, you know, Jack Nicholson's name came first, man. But whatever. If it's not a sequel to Man of Steel, then I get it. Batman v Superman. Okay. Batfleck versus Henry Man. Okay, so post your comments down below. Let me know what you think about this five-second leak. Oh, that's going to be some fucking bull... Y'all yeah. know I'm going to lose my mind when I react tomorrow. You know I am. Uh, There's going to be five seconds of me losing my mind, probably throwing this chair halfway across my fucking apartment because then I got to wait to see it for real, you know? Been waiting forever, all these fucking rumors, you know? Uh, but whatever. We'll see how this all turns out. Hopefully. Somebody as powerful as Anonymous will be able to hack Zack Snyder's laptop and release it to us all. <laughs> all right, post your comments down below. Let me know what you think about this. One million subscribers. Woo!